Hello friends, in this session we are going to interface Raspberry Pi with a DHT11 temperature and humidity sensor and this data will be uploaded onto the ThingSpeak cloud. Once I run the program, program will show the temperature and humidity of surrounding environment and a URL will be created to upload the data onto the cloud. The cloud means ThingSpeak. Here, this is the ThingSpeak data. I am trying to increase the temperature of surrounding environment. So that temperature will be changed at the sensor side and sensor will send data to the uh, Raspberry Pi. Raspberry Pi will update the data onto the cloud. So in this experiment, I am interfacing DHT11 with a Raspberry Pi. The output of DHT11 is connected to GPIO 4 pin of a Raspberry Pi. So this interpreting diagram we are going to use for our experiment. Then now I will move on to the ThingSpeak because I want to create channel on ThingSpeak. So here I will go to the top right corner. There is an option of sign in. If you are not having an account on ThingSpeak, you have to create it. I am already having account on ThingSpeak. So I will go with that and I will click on next. After that, I will enter password as well. And you will get this kind of interface. So I will create a new channel here. So click on new channel. For my new channel name is weather monitoring and I can give description here. I am going to display two data. First one is of temperature, second one is of humidity. So my field one will be of temperature and now I have to enable second field. So I will click here and I will enter humidity. After that, I will scroll down and I will click on save channel. So there are two charts. First one is for temperature, second one is for humidity. Now how to write the data on these two charts? So for that, I have to go to the API keys. In the API keys, there are two options. Write API key and read API key. If I want to write data on cloud, that means on ThingSpeak chart, so I will have to use this write key. To get more information about write key, you can go to the API request and there is an option of write a channel feed. You can click here and you can get more information about that. In today's experiment, I'm going to use HTTP GET request. So I will scroll down and I will open the information about write data with a GET. So there is a API. This API I'm going to use. Um, so I will paste this API here. URL consists of different fields. Uh, like up to this part, it is talking about updating the information. After that, we have to use here our write API key, and here we have to enter data which is to be updated. So, in my case, my API write API key is here, so I will copy it and I will paste here. And now this is a URL I have to use to update field one with data one, two, three. So I will demonstrate this. I will copy this and I will paste into the browser. Before pasting into the browser, I will open private view of my channel. I will paste here and I will press enter. Server will give me a response in the JSON format and at the same time, my data 1, 2, 3 will be uploaded onto the first chart that is of temperature. Similar way, suppose if I want to update second chart, so I will have to modify this. I will have to say field 2 here and let's say my information is 100. So 100 is my data. So I will copy it and I will paste here in new window and I will press enter. Server will give response in the recent format. Now, same data will be updated in my second chart. So this is how we are actually updating the data onto the cloud. 
so before going ahead i would like to uh, erase this section or erase this two readings so i will go to the channel setting and i will clear the channel so that my data will be erased again i will go to the private view and now i will keep in mind this url i have to use so as i told you there are different sections for this url uh, now suppose some time at any instant of time if i want to update two fields simultaneously so in that case i will say my first field is a 50 and second one is field 2 which let's say of 200 then i have to add this information at the end of the url field 1 information as well as field 2 information so i will copy this and i will paste it here once i do that now data will be updated here on chart 1 as well as chart 2 so in this way we can update data at chart 1 and chart 2 simultaneously so first data is 50 second data is a 200 now i will erase this and i will go ahead now i have erased all the data now as i said this url consists of different sections so i would say the first section of my url is from h character up to the my api key after that from this and character onwards up to the and field one this is the second section of my url in third section i can say i have to update data one in fourth section i would say it is about and field two is equal to sign and in fifth section this is the data to be uploaded onto the cloud so this data one is data and data which is to be uploaded on cloud and data 2 is again data to be uploaded on cloud so this url i am going to use in my python program so now i will open raspberry pi now i have turned on my raspberry pi which is the interface with the dht 11 temperature and humidity sensor now i am accessing this raspberry pi remotely with the help of my laptop and for that i will open the software vnc viewer and here i will enter and i will go for new connection and i will enter ip address and i will give name as a raspberry pi and press ok i will double click on this icon say continue and provide username and password say ok this this window is of my raspberry pi now i will open my program which is written in thony id and this is my program i will uh, paste my url here as i told you are going to use second third and fourth fields in my program so i will explain now the code uh, in first four lines i am using various libraries then line number seven is my base url which include things speak then api key as well pin number four of raspberry pi i have mentioned here keep in mind it is gpi of pin number four and after that uh, I am using while statement for executing the program continuously. Um, very first thing I will mention program is running. Then line number 14. By using this line, I am reading the data from DHT sensor. And if data is more than zero, it means temperature and humidity both values are more than zero, I am displaying on this output screen of my ID 
and same time i am message putting the message as a data received and after that line number 19 i am using for constructing the url as i told you there are five different sections in my url the first section is my base part of my url second section is and field one is equal to third section is a, what is the actual data of temperature fourth field is a, and field two is equal to and last section that is the fifth number section is a actual data which is of humidity and i will construct the url and i will store into the x variable and after that i will send a request to the server of things speak by using request dot post command so server will give response as a okay once it update the data and that response i am displaying here whatever link we have constructed that link also i am displaying onto the screen of this thony uh, so now i will save this program and i will run this code and i will check what is happening um, data is 95 degree uh, percentage 95 percentage is the humidity and 31 degree is the temperature uh, url is also context constructed and now i will open our thing speak so data is being uploaded here now i will go to the again thing speak and i will try to change the temperature right now temperature 31 now i will modify and i will increase it by surround changing surrounding environment as you can see in this image which is that bottom right corner temperature is being increased because of this fire and temperature is reached to 34 now same information will be displayed on to the our thing speak uh, it will take some time to update the data onto the cloud but definitely cloud will update the information right now temperature is 30 degree centigrade you can 39 temperature is 39 degree centigrade now you can watch this information on the cloud as well so so in this way we have uh, read the information from sensor by using raspberry pi and same information is uh, uploaded onto the things speak cloud and we have display this information onto the chart 1 and chart 2 so thanks thanks for watching my video